Weather 12 forecast. I think the rest of the afternoon will be dry, but we'll likely be tracking some rain showers this evening. Let's get a look at live Doppler radar and see we're not really looking at anything immediately close to Rhode Island, nearby Connecticut or Massachusetts. Our threat tracker for today low. Same for tomorrow, low chance of severe weather. In fact, tomorrow might be the pick of the week. It looks really nice. Thursday, we are looking at the possibility for some strong winds behind a, another quick moving weather system. Here's a look at the city of Providence. Lots of clouds around. I'm thinking we'll see a little bit of sunshine within the next couple of hours, but we're not looking at a bright and sunny day. 40 degrees right now with a wind attending uh, light about eight miles an hour down in Tiverton, and we've got 40 degrees. They also have a generally light wind satellite radar picture showing lots of thick clouds overhead, but every once in a while we're catching a little glimmer of sun. I think we'll see a little bit more in the way of sun over the next two hours, as I mentioned, but then the clouds really begin to thicken back up as we have an area of low pressure off to our south and west. That's going to be tracking off to our south this evening hours and with it out ahead of it, we'll be finding these rain showers arriving probably after about six o'clock or so this this evening and likely around for a good portion of the evening. Hour by hour forecast shows this nicely. Here we are at eight o'clock this evening. Couple of showers around showers for a little while and then by midnight two o'clock in the morning. We should be dry skies clearing out by dawn. This is eight o'clock Wednesday morning with a blend of sunshine and clouds now into the afternoon. Still looking good with nothing but sunshine and clear skies tomorrow evening. So forecast for today about 42 degrees or so with lots of clouds, a little bit of sunshine winds generally from the southeast five to 10 miles an hour this evening. Rain showers developing. Not everyone sees them all the time. Temperature about 33 degrees late in the night. So something that we're going to have to watch for is the possibility for any wet pavement uh, to come close to the freezing mark late in the night. We'll be watching that closely, but we are looking at drier conditions after midnight. Now here's the seven day forecast and let's go through this. There are those showers tonight and very early uh, tomorrow morning and ending by well before dawn on Wednesday. As I mentioned, probably the best day of the week. Temperatures will be climbing into the upper 40s to around 50 degrees with lots of sunshine. Just a, a really nice January day. More showers are possible tomorrow night and into Thursday morning morning and then it gets a little windy on uh, Thursday, Friday. Look at that 28 degrees with sunshine, but yeah, a lot colder for Friday. Now, well, as far as that weekend storm goes, here's what we're looking at right now. We are expecting to see some snow develop in the afternoon. It turns over to a rain and mix in the uh, evening hours and then likely ending before or ending during the morning on a Sunday, but it's possible it could see some small accumulations before any potential uh, changeover Saturday evening. The rest of Sunday, especially the second half, looks dry, looks cold and sunny. <clears throat> Excuse me, next Monday. Be sure to download the WPRI Pinpoint Weather 12 app. You can get live interactive radar and weather wherever you are. It's free on your mobile device. So mainly dry this afternoon, maybe some showers around this evening. A lot of ups gotcha. and downs this week. Even a winter storm to track over the weekend. I was going to say, we don't want you to be bored all week. No, no bored. There we go. Here. Plenty of movement. Yes. TJ, thanks so much. Stay with us for stories coming up tonight, starting live at five. Blood centers across the country, they say they're facing a shortage because so many people are sick with the flu right now and can't donate. We're well, hearing from the Rhode Island Blood Center about the critical need for blood right here at home. Then new at 530, more than 33% of Americans age 65 and older do not have any money saved for retirement. How some seniors are getting creative now to make ends meet. And new at 6, a look at new security software that's being used at a local school. Those stories, plus all today's breaking news, later on Eyewitness News.